Welcome to another day in the Maya. Happy fifth line day. It's the left angle cross of limitation. And you can see here that the gate of increase growth is in the fifth line of self-actualization, where the sun exalts this line. The fulfillment and actualization of purpose is a natural path whose reward is a healthy sense of self rather than the power and influence that naturally follow. In other words, growth that is self-fulfilling and naturally leads to influence, where this energy is being grounded and balanced into the body graph is duration, the gate of continuity, where the fifth line is about flexibility and we're learning about easy adaptation to circumstances. Moon exalts this line where superficiality is a valuable tool that while masking the inner light permits adaptation to prevailing conditions and instinct for adaptation in times of change. And Mars detriments the urge to express oneself in direct and often violent rejection of conformity. The potential of the instinct to reject adaptation and conformity in times of change. You can see why I love fifth lines. Being a fifth line myself with so many, including this one. Splitting apart the gate of assimilation is what we're all being conditioned to move towards, which is the gift of communicating individual insight to the collective, thanks to Jupiter, or moon, motive-driven assimilation for acceptance and protection from the collective. And where insight breakthrough is in the line of progression, the gift of knowing when a unique insight can be shared effectively with others thanks to moon's influence. And Venus detriments an over-reliance on the receptivity of others that turns harmony into the conditioner of individual expression. Now, Venus in her values and relating the mores, the family, the gate of friendship. Here we have the fifth line exalted by Venus. It's love, natural and unaffected devotion to the family is what we are learning about thanks to Venus. Her influence of natural harmony and perfected sharing. In other words, natural harmony and sharing possible through friendship. And Saturn, slow moving, discipline and limitation. In the gate 49, the gate of principles, where we have the fifth line of organization. Moon exalted. Practical provisions for the needs of others in revolutionary times, which ensure support and continued understanding a potential sensitivity to the practical needs of others. Mars detriments, a concentration on the organization of power to clearly define authority, often at the expense of higher principles. In other words, a rejection of higher principles in seeking to organize others. Now Mars is almost out of the gate of feelings where we have the clinging fire, the gate of desire. Mars, its energy dynamics, I like to think of the young bull at springtime. The sixth line is called enforcement, the discipline to maintain right action. Mars exalts this line, the assertiveness to purge the inferior while accepting to lead the weak. In other words, the strength to eliminate negative feelings. So if you've been feeling chaotic, crisis-laden, lots of challenges, remember that this is a time to be supported. Remember your strategy and authority helps light the way so that you will assist the right others in times of decline, where Neptune is bringing a hiddenness to the darkening of the light, the gate of crisis. The application of imagination to schemes which benefit others, feelings.
that can benefit others in times of crisis. There's a lot of emotionality potentially in this transit. Temporarily, we have the moon here in the gate of conflict, which is opposite that gate of crisis there. The fundamental design component of progress, the law that growth cannot exist without friction. Friction make babies. Here we have triumph, a position of natural and unchallengeable power. Sun exalts this line. The charity and wisdom that must come with victory and the movement towards new horizons. The power of emotions to dominate a relationship. And Pluto detriments this line. The conqueror and purger. The lack of emotional control that is destructive in relationships. Remember I told you that our Pluto is in a very deep, powerful trait. We have the gate of limitation, the gate of acceptance, Pluto bringing our truth transformation and psychology. You can hear that there's a lot of limitation in the transit. And the third line, if you remember, reads conservatism. The energy to maintain identity and security despite limitations, or energy which ignores limitations and pays the price. Mercury communication and thinking is almost out of the gate 27 nourishment, the gate of caring. Six line reads wariness, a protection against an abuse of generosity, where the power and strength to be realistic in one's capacities to care and nurture is one side of the coin where moon exalts this line. And Pluto detrimenting reads the power of suspicion in limiting the expression of caring. So it's at this point I want to remind you, especially if you are doing human design work professionally, when you read a chart, be sure to go and look at the line qualities and don't gloss over what you know about the gate because if you simply talk about caring and you don't read, especially if there is an exalted or an a detriment, and you don't read what that line is, you won't know what kind of caring. Is it the power and strength to be realistic in one's capacities to care and nurture? To respond realistically? Or is it the power of suspicion because there is a tendency to over-suspiciousness? limiting the expression of caring. Last but not least, we have Uranus in gate two, the receptive, the gate of the direction of the self where we have our unusualness, chaos, and innovation. First line reads intuition, a sensitivity to disharmony and atrophy is what we are learning about here. Venus exalting this line higher knowing through ascetics, and Mars detrimenting, the urge for action that will ignore the wisdom of the higher self. Remember that the gate too is the root of all action. The direction of the self is responding to a higher vision, higher calling. Remember everything that you are experiencing from the mind's perspective is always being bombarded by these transiting energies. And that is one of the reasons why to remember to come back and rely upon your decision-making strategy, honoring your personal integrity of being your own authority and witnessing and watching the beauty and wonderment of what it is to be yourself.